<clears throat> Today, I'm going to tell you the story of the Thousand Year Door. An awfully long time ago, in a strange and far off land, a big bustling town thrived. It was a town where all people lived very happy lives, and it was said that the town was very prosperous. But one day, tragedy befell this blessed place. A great cataclysm struck the town and its people. Darkness filled the skies, and the earth roared and shook. It was as if the very world had come to a violent end. And in but a single night, the town sank into the depths of the earth. Many moons rose and set. Stories of the town passed into the pages of fairy tales, and when the town site no longer held relics of its past, people gathered at that spot and built a new town. But word soon spread among the people who moved in that an ancient city lay deep underground, and that a magnificent treasure rested there. Indeed, this is the tale of the fabled treasure of Rogueport. Yes, this is where it begins, in the sea town of Rogueport. The tale of the quest for the legendary treasure and the thousand year door starts here. Finally, I have a minute without Toadsworth watching over me. He's so paranoid. I come all this way here on holiday only to be stuck with Toadsworth. It's so stifling. Once in a while I like the chance to look around on my own and see what I want. But now that I'm doing it, all I see is that this town has a very uh, distinct flavor. <laughs> oh, oh, Missy? Missy? You mean me? Yes, you, Missy. Won't you buy something? I have a wide assortment of knickknacks and doodads. Oh, well, um... Huh. Well, that's a pretty box. What's inside it? And it's sad that the box holds a map that shows where a legendary treasure sleeps. But the box has a magic lock on it that will only open for a pure and noble heart. As you can see, it won't so much as budge if one such as myself touches it. Oh! I know. If the box will open for you, Missy, then you may have whatever is inside. I'm sure that whatever is in there would be no use to someone like me. So, Missy, take this box to your hands and see what happens. Yeah, she seems like a pretty trustworthy girl. Um, Alright, I'll try to open it. Oh, jeez! She opened Pandora's box! Eee, hello, everyone, and welcome to my walkthrough of Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, one of my favorite GameCube games and favorite games of all time. So let's get a new game started here. Thank you for loading. Even though you're not really loading much of anything other than my other save files, which I won't be using here because I gotta start brand new. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is PK Gam, and I will commentate every single part whether you like it or not. And let's get this game started. After it saves. <laughs> And here we are at Mario's Pad. It's a pretty peaceful place. Ah, here comes Paracarry from the first Paper Mario. Looking good. Mail call! Looking good in his new sprite form. And there's Ouija. Hmm, what's in the letter? Hey bro, check it out! A letter from Princess, Pre Princess Peach arrives for you! I'll just read it to you. How's that sound? Now, now let's see here. <coughs> Hello, Mario! I am now at home 
birthday. <clears throat> oh, I shouldn't be doing Princess Peach's voice. I am now traveling on holiday, traveling in the Mushroom Kingdom. In my travels, I came into possession of a magical map. A treasure map, actually. It was inside the box I got from an old merchant in a town called Roqueport. But since it would be too difficult for me to try and go find my treasure all my myself, I, I thought you could help me hunt for it. You will, of course, won't you? I've recorded the map with this letter, so please bring it with you when you come. I'll meet you at Rogueport. That means you must come, Beach. Well, what do you know? It's true. There's a weathered old map in here with the letter. Check it out. Hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Ooh, nice artwork. And we are traveling the seven seas to reach rogue ports in the Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass's boat. Okay, not really. <laughs> kind of reminds me of that, though, in a way. Ah, this game brings back awesome memories. I love this game so much. It's been a while since I've played through it, which is partly why I would like to replay it, because I haven't played <laughs> played it in a while, and gotta replay games that are good every once in a while. You know how it is if you're a gamer, come on now. And thus, the prologue starts. Known as a rogue's welcome. Kind of intro-ish, yet sinister music at the same time. Kind of interesting. Anyway, let's get this started. Ah, uh, spe sleeping so peacefully. Excuse me, sir. Please, wake up, sir. The town you've been sp speaking of has come into view. Look, that's Rogueport. <laughs> Ah, uh, Mario is such a sleepyhead sometimes. You see? We'll arrive shortly. Please prepare to disembark. And here we are. The legendary town of Rogueport. Oh, geez, this place is a dump. <laughs> I must apologize, sir. Our arrival was delayed just a bit by rough weather. Are you quite sure you want to disembark here? I did tell you all the sordid tales about Rogue Farm on my way here, did I not? Well, what's that? I'm sorry? You say there's a princess waiting here for you? Is that so? Um, of course, sir. Well, if that's what you think, then I won't stop you. But, uh, you be careful, sir. Don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> and needless to say, the whole game is pretty much made of paper and there's a lot of gags like that throughout the game. Anyway, controls are basically control stick to move, A button to jump, B button to swing the hammer, and that's pretty much all you've got right now at the moment, because it's really early in the game. Hit the save block to save your game, and yeah, it's gonna explain that for you as well, even though I kind of already explained that. I'm just gonna click through it slow enough so that you can read it, and yes, I would like to save the game, but I'm gonna move on. You can talk to people with the A button as well. Oi! Welcome to Roadport! Bit of a nasty place, eh? You got guts coming here. You look a bit green, so have a wee bit of advice on me. Hit that save. Have a what? I just said, weren't you listening to me, man? Oh, forget it. Because that thing about life is you never know when you're going to kick the old bucket. <laughs> That's true. Whenever you see a save block, you probably are better off saving unless you use up a lot of items that are really good or something like that, but then you'd want to restart anyway and you wouldn't even go for the save block. Anyway, I'm kind of rambling here. What do you want, pal? Huh? A princess in a pink dress? I ain't seen nothing like that. No, I remember princess. Probably. What do you want this chick anyway? I'm going to drink this chick anyway, pal. Oh, you with money? Or is she your girlfriend? <laughs> kind of misread that, but eh, it's fine. Hey, what do you want? Get away from me, freak! Oh, go off it, you airhead. I don't know what's up for you, but don't play dumb with me. I even see you walking around town asking for information about the crystal stars. Well, now I'm gonna do an asking so be a good girl and tell us what you know, right? No! Never! I don't want to have anything to see, you creeps. Ew! <laughs> I suppose it wouldn't be right if a sassy little lass like you met with an untimely demise. 
<laughs> Boys, we're taking this firebrand to our fortress. As you command, Lord Crump. We're on it. No, no, stop right there, you weirdos. I'll scream, really. Okay, oh geez, there's a, there's a bad scene going on. What do you have to say about this? <laughs> I don't know why you scallyrag. Move your ever-loving bones. So, thanks for... Thanks for nothing. Blimey, a fight? Corkin? <laughs> it, it nothing so fun as watching some poor bloke have it out with his missus, eh? <laughs> Am I right, mate? Yikes! Looks like trouble over there. Probably best to not get involved, huh? I wouldn't meddle on other people's problems in this town, even if I had an extra life. <laughs> but, unfortunately, you, the game doesn't go on until you do, so let's just go over there and check about and she automatically trusts Mario. I could ever go with some smelly lunatics like you. <laughs> Not likely. Oh, what do you think you're doing, chump? You think you could screw up my plans? Oh, and Mario just gets involved. <laughs> Good, it's always something. Looks like I'm gonna have to give you a little taste of the old crumble bomb! And this is how the game's battle is like, basically. It's like a tutorial fight of sorts. Battle time, Mr. Man. Just find a way to beat that this freak of the week, okay? Don't sweat the details. Just jump on him and hit him with your hammer. All right. So here we are. We got jump. We got hammer. We got items. We actually have no items. But I'm going to start out with a jump. And you'll notice that there is a little thing at the bottom called an action command. It's... Uh, it, it describes what your attack does and what you can do to do more damage. Like, see, I was able to jump on him twice because I pressed the age when I hit him, and yeah, it's it's pretty self-explanatory, really, once you get into the game. Sweet! You know that hurt. Well, I gotta say, you're tougher than you look. Keep it up and you'll beat him in no time. Ah! And you can also press the A button to guard yourself, just as I did there. If I wouldn't have guarded myself, I would have taken one damage. As you see at the upper left corner there, you see Mario with a little heart. That's his HP. If I would have taken damage there, it would have went down by one, so it would have been 9 out of 10. The flower points there next to it is something I don't really have right now, so let's just skip that for now. And for the hammer, hold left until that le the right light lights up, and there you go. You'll be able to do two damage instead of one. You've got him on the ropes! Come on, keep wailing on him! You aren't gonna damage me with your giant tush. Alright, Lord Crump, you're going down. Right here, right now! Yeah, he's only got 5 HP. <laughs> you did it! You did it! Yes! And you got star points! Yeah, I bet you know, but you get these things called star points when you win battles. When you get 100 points, you go up a level. Don't forget that, okay? And I got nine, so I'm not going to level up for a while, <laughs> if that wasn't obvious. <laughs> oh, okay, you got a couple decent shots in, I'll give you that. <laughs> but unfortunately for you, that means... It's go time! <laughs> well, this doesn't look too good. Punish him! Oh, dog pile! Quick, this way! And they just walk out casually. <laughs> I love that. Whew, what a bunch of balloons. Let's just sneak out of here. What do you say? Yeah, it, it, it sounds like a pretty good idea. If you try to go in to it, you'll be pushed out. Yeah. <laughs> So you have no choice but to go up there. So I'm gonna go up here and let leave them to find Waldo. Stop! Hmm. 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 Where'd they go? Huh? You, Johnson. Do you see them? D did anyone? No one did. <laughs> What were they thinking they were attacking then? I have no idea. Oh, crud, they bolted. And thus, they escaped. <laughs> well, we escaped. Woo! Oh, mister, you totally saved me, thanks. I just got to give you a little reward. Ah! Yeah, she's getting really chummy with me really quickly. My name's Goombella. 
I'm a student at the University of Goom. Nice to meet ya. So, um, who are you? Mario is silent, but somehow he says Mario. <laughs> Mario, wait, you mean like that famous guy? Wow, I can't believe I met you here. Cool. Anyway, no offense, but it looks like you just rolled into town yourself, right? Me? I already hate it here. There are freaks and weirdos everywhere. It's nasty. I mean, I know the place is called Roport, so I should have expected it, but sheesh. I'd never come to a place like this if there weren't some legendary treasure here. Oh, oh Mario gets excited. What, you're looking for legendary treasure too? Seriously? Whoa, 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 Bucko. What you got there? <gasps> oh my gosh! It's... it's... It, isn't that a treasure map? You've got to tell me where you got that! Princess Peach? What? Great! Hoogly boogly! If it isn't Master Mario! Oh jeez, people are getting roughed up in the background. <laughs> Bit of a coincidence bobbing into another one in a short place, hmm? Oh ho! So tell me, Master Mario, what in the world brings you to this wretched little burg? I <laughs> love the stuff that goes on in the background like that. Mm. Ah, indeed. Princess Peach sent you a letter on a treasure map? And uh, she told you she'd meet you here in Rogueport? Intriguing. You're asking me where Princess Peach is? Um, I was about to ask you that. We stopped in this town to acquire a spot of fuel for our ship. Don't you know? I, I only took my eye off her for a moment, but as soon as I did, she vanished. Oh! You know how headstrong she is, Mario. I just assumed she'd be back momentarily. But at this point, I fear we must embrace the possibility that she may re never return. Uh oh. I've been at a loss as to what to do. I've been fraught with worry, I tell you. And Mario seems to be comforting just by raising his hand. <laughs> But I'm feeling better with you here, Master Mario. Surely we'll find here. Surely! But I know my place, Master Mario, and this is not it. I leave this task to you. Ah, oh, of course he does. I'm always the hero, I swear. I believe I'll recline the inn right over there and enjoy a spot of tea, perhaps. In fact, I highly recommend it, particularly if you find your HP heart points running low. Just drop on in! Ho ho! Yes, anyway, a, a little rest there, you will fill all your HP. I must say though, the rest of this town is a bit rough. Yes, rough indeed. Huff, <coughs> I say. Huff, <coughs> I say. <coughs> um, Princess Peach? Did you mean like Peach, the Mushroom Kingdom Princess? The princess who always gets nabbed by Bowser the Koopa King, the one you rescue? Wait a sec, this is crazy! Princess Peach sent that. Tr Sent you that treasure map? Oh ho! Whoa, this is really intense. Well, where could she have gone then, do you think? You think maybe she got sick of waiting and went to find the treasure on her own? Hmm. Oh, oh, I know, Mario, come with me. One of my professors is here researching that treasure. We'll show him your map. If we start looking for the treasure, then maybe we'll catch up to Princess Peach. Ho oh, oh, ho oh. Great, we're all good. Let's go, Mario. Got a new party member. Woo! It's a little tutorial of sorts that pops up on its own. Press X to get information about nearby people, places, and objects. This is Rogueport Plaza. It's the center of town in the main business district. It's a crossroads where many people meet, including more than a few shady characters. Anytime you press X and there's no one around, I'll tell you about where we are. And I did that in the wrong voice. <laughs> That's fine though. Uh oh. That's Goomba the Goomba. He's always complaining about being swindled or mugged. If you press X when there's somebody nearby, I'll tell you about him or her. So, did you get all that? There's a lot of dialogue in this game in case you didn't realize that. I don't know if I'll show you all of it, but uh, yeah. <laughs> it's just one of those things of there's a lot to see in this game and it, it, I think you would probably get really fed up with <laughs> me just talking to a lot of people. So for the most part, I'll probably be focusing on uh, uh, the main stuff like uh, teaching about head bonks that she can do and whatnot, you know what I'm saying here, and just leave you to do your uh, own exploring, so to speak. Because part of the fun of this game is 
finding stuff out on your own, you know, like finding little doodads and Easter eggs and stuff like that. But of course, I'll show you some stuff along the way. I mean, come on now. <laughs> First off, we gotta go find my professor. Thing is, since I just got to tell myself, I um, um, don't actually know where he lives. So keep an eye out. Here's what Professor Frankly looks like. Okay, keep that in mind. And if you go over to the right... Hey, by the way, Mario, have you saved yet? You see that save block in front of the inn? Since we're here, you ought to save now. Just jump up and hit the block to save, okay? That sounds pretty good. So, let's save our game. And end off the part here. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part.